Ooh. Ooh. Platinum. I've only ever played Pokemon Diamond. Um, so there are going to be differences in this that I've never even seen. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, I only ever had Diamond because that's what I got when I was a kid. And I just kind of replayed that. I never really thought to play Platinum. My brother actually had Platinum for a while. And uh, from my perspective, just watching him play, it seemed like more of the same. So I don't even really know what kind of quality of life changes there are. Let's just head into this. Platinum is like Diamond and Pro if they were finished products. Oh man, Rowan, <laughs> come on man, really? Really, he's pixels on a screen, he's not real. Wake up, he's not real. You people, you people are a riot. All right, time to enter my credentials. All right, my name. Let's see. All right, so Yokai Watch. I was Blevro. Genshin Impact. I was Schlevro. So this time, I'm gonna be Schlevro. Let's see if I have enough characters to fit a C in there, or if I just have to do SH. Ah, I'll be Flevro. I am not naming it that, Skydus. I am not naming it that. <laughs> this is a family-friendly application. Flevro, absolutely. What am I gonna name this dude? First person in chat to speak is named after this dude. Mingus too, hey! All right, Mingus, you're in. Mingus with two S's there. Oh yeah. And you watch the TV? I always remember this part as a kid. First things first, I gotta turn up the uh, text scrolling speed. Battle style's gotta be set, by the way. There's no Nuzlocke, and we gotta choose a good frame. This kid is, oh my gosh, this dude. Can you believe this dude? We all had that one friend, admit it. If you see little black flecks on the ground as I walk around, uh, it's because I have dust on the cartridge in my legal 3DS. Uh, it is not anything from emulation. Ah, uh, can we ban Mignus, please? Can we ban Mignus 5000 from the chat, please? When I first played Pokemon Diamond, uh, when I was like seven years old or whatever, I spent like 30 minutes trapped upstairs inside of my room where you start because I had no idea that you walk on top of the stairs to actually go down. I don't think it's gonna be Infernape because I've used Infernape, I've used Torterra in runs before, just playing the game casually, but I've never actually used Empoleon. And I don't know how good Empoleon is for Nuzlocke, so I've done zero research going into this. So it's probably gonna be Empoleon. So yeah, oh, I should probably explain the rules I'm gonna use in this. So battle is set mode as we saw earlier. I'm gonna try and avoid using items in battles, but if things are looking especially dire and it looks like the entire run is just gonna die at some point, I'm just gonna have to swallow my pride and use an item just so that I don't need to stop and reset the whole run, cause that wouldn't be fun. Shoot, what else? What are the rules? Oh yeah, catch the first Pokemon I see in each route and then uh, nickname them all. That just kind of makes sense. I'm allowed to use healing items outside of battle though. That's one thing I can do. And if I kill a Pokemon by accident, then I'll just catch whatever's the next encounter. I'm gonna try not to abuse that, but seeing as I don't have a ton of experience and I'm kind of rusty with Pokemon as is, I might as well do whatever I can to make things at least a little forgiving. It's Professor Roadman. You truly love Pokemon? No. Whoa, hold up. Shagaru Miyamoto once said, if it's not fun, why bother? The game. It's fun. The game is fun. I've been like memeing on that clip of like Reggie at E3 with my little brother. We'll just like play fighting games or whatever. We do like Neko Arc dittos and Melty Blood. <laughs> and every time I win a round, I just play the game is fun. But anyways, yeah, Piplup. I said it would be Piplup when I started this. Glaze, did you seriously just say the frick word in my chat? I'm gonna have to give you a 30 minute timeout. If you do that again, then it is a ban. Are you up for this? I've always wanted to say this, and the time has finally come. Will you marry me? We're going in. Here he is, Mingus. Piplup, I'll just spam pound for this whole thing. Withdraw. Yeah, like that'll help you in hell. You're going down. Oh wait, he's tanking this whole fight. What if he just crits me and I die? I'm doing like one damage! Help! Oh no, no. <laughs> Don't do it, dude. I take it back! I take it back! Don't do it! Don't do it! I don't know if I live another. Help! Help! Um, 
Guys, I don't think... Guys, I think he did withdraw too many times. Please get a crit. Please. Okay, this one has to be a crit. Please. Please let it be a crit. Please, man, please. Please. I'm sorry I made fun of you for using withdraw. Ah. Oh, okay, we got it. Whew. Already starting this off with pulse pounding action. Let's go home. I'm sure I'm beat after that 30 second battle. Yeah, mom, make me a sandwich. Mom, don't come into my room. I'm playing Fortnite with my friends. Knock first so I can go on mute, guys. Come on. Pressing my B button. We're gonna beat you so fast. It's like we're holding down the B button. You ever watch that uh, epic rap battles of history? Wright Brothers versus Mario Brothers? A classic. I downloaded that onto my PS Vita. Yeah, the PS Vita, yeah. Before I had a phone, I had a PS Vita, and the Vita can play MP3 and MP4 files. So that was like my multimedia solution at the time. So that on long car trips, I just have like YouTube videos that I downloaded onto my Vita. So that was just what I did. I also played a lot of Shovel Knight on the Vita, and I played a lot of um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Let's hope my Piplup doesn't get one hit KO'd along the way by a crit or anything. I mean, I don't think it will. I don't think that's physically possible, but you never know. I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's just me being biased because I've played the game more, but I do kind of like the opening to Diamond and Pearl more, where you have to like steal the Pokemon from him in order to like fight off the Pidgey that attacks you. It just feels a little bit more interesting. And this is just like, you know, he just gives it to you because you really want it. All right, Piplup's nickname. Who is going to be Piplup? Well, I mean, Mingus is already the rival. Shoot, what am I going to name this Pingus? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The perfect name, Pingus. Pingus, like the funny Eggman meme. Pingus. Snooping as usual, I see. There we go. Comedic genius. Evro. Pingus, Wingus, Mingus, Blingus, Stringus, Flingus. All right, Starly. Starly's our real first encounter. Premier Ball, by the way. All right. Starly, it's Wingus. But nah, it's not gonna be Wingus. We can't do, we can't do that joke for the whole thing. I mean, come on. What am I gonna call Starly? I remember when I was like seven years old and I played this game for the first time, I just called my Starly friend. Because it reminded me, it was like, there was a Spongebob episode, right? Where he meets like a blue jellyfish and he just calls it friend at the end. So yeah, Starly was always friend in like every single one of my Diamond and Pearl runs. So it will be friend in this run as well. Kind of a weird name, but it's got emotional attachment behind it. Yeah, I would always name, like I named my Starly friend. Uh, I named, because like my nickname that like my parents and everyone would use for me back then was Ev. And then that kind of evolved into Evro like over time so i named my character everett which is my real name and then i named my starter uh ev and i still don't really know why but then for a time for like five years after that i would always name my starter ev maybe i should have done that for this run but i think pingus is pretty funny as well this is some deep evro lore i actually used to hate the nickname evro uh, my little brother came up with it and i thought it was like the most annoying thing ever and he just repeated it so much. He was just like, ha, Evro, 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 Evro. And then he like Stockholm syndrome me into liking the nickname Evro. Now I go by Evro like regularly. Woohoo! I'm running, I'm running. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't do it, please, don't do it. Okay. I was going too fast. I'm, I'm switching it out. If I just like went speed mode and somehow I ended up killing Starly. That would be so, so bad. Now I can get an encounter. All right, Bidoof. Boom. Bingus. That would be funny, but unfortunately, no. I'm going to say, because everyone likes to say Bidoof is like the god, I'm going to name this thing 42. It's a funny Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy British reference. Because in that book, they say 42 is like God's answer to everything. We got to try our hardest to keep these things alive. I do not want to be caught making rookie mistakes. I may have nine followers on Twitch, but you never know when Pokemon challenges will show up and start ridiculing your run. Could you imagine if like Pokemon challenges just like snapped and went on his like Joker arc and just like started criticizing random nobodies? Just like going on YouTube, publishing 
random loser nobody attempts Nuzlocke fails miserably because of course they do. Would that be just insane? Finally, the first trainer. All right. We're using Growl, the setup moves. This is how we win, gamers. I'm getting out of here. All right, friend. Yeah, we can't just be like little kids playing this game using only attacking moves. Having like Ember and Flamethrower on the same Pokemon. We've grown up. We're adults. Oh yeah, here we are, Jubilee. When it's Saturday. Well, I can't catch more Pokemon, Dawn. It's a Nuzlocke, you filthy casual. Hello gamers, this is Evro here in post once again. I would like to humbly extend an apology for the audio which you are about to hear for being very cringe. Yours truly, Evro. 42 more like 420. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Can I take that back? Oh wait, I just realized you just tuned into the stream. That's literally the first thing you heard in the stream. Oh no. Well, we got Looker. Evro loud noises. <laughs> Oh no, now I'm just making myself look bad. Oh, he gives you the versus recorder. I remember me and my siblings with the versus recorder in um, black and white one. I would just take that, look up random matches and we'd all bet on like which team would win. And we'd all like get on all fours and like pretend to do the moves like we were on the different teams. It was just one of those dumb things that kids did, but you know, pretty fun. Anyways, yeah, we would like bet on who would win the um the pokemon battles except we wouldn't use money or anything because you know we were all like 10 and under so we would take a bunch of like juices in the house we'd take like orange juice and apple juice and pineapple juice and grapefruit juice and just combine them all into an elixir and then whoever bet correctly on the battle and guessed who would win got to take a sip of the elixir <laughs> all right let's fight scott the waz over here hey all scott here okay we are good if Pokemon were real, do you think anybody would get in trouble for, um, like, doping up their Pokemon with rare candies and, like, protein just roiding them up? I would make Arceus smoke crack. Oh, man. The physical form of the universe would dissolve. Also, yes, I pronounce it Arceus. I think it sounds cooler than Arceus. Yeah, I loved playing this game when I was, like, seven, but it was not built for a seven-year-old like me. I mean, I skipped through all the dialogue. I had no idea what was going on. So I was stuck in like Jubilife City for like four hours because I didn't know I had to get these coupons. Man, this is like what a smartwatch looked like to people back in like 2005 or whenever this came out. 2007 with the LCD screen. Oh yeah, this dude just wants to fight you. All right, well, I'm glad my Pokemon are at full health. We got special sweeper Piplup over here. All right, friend. Let's go, friend. No one told you life was going to be this way. Oh no, the withdrawal strats are coming out. We're growling. This might be victory. This is gonna be victory. No! Okay, man. Hey, it doesn't have to be this way, man. Doesn't have to be this way. Pingus could probably take a tackle. Okay, we're good. All right. Thank goodness we didn't lose any Pokemon on the second rival fight. That would just be sad. All right, now we can get our encounter. Let's hope it's Shinx. I'm pretty sure you can get Shinx here. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm speaking talking about, baby. Let's go. I will draw Angstar the first Pokemon to die. Oh, no. You're going to draw Plevro, Plevro, Clavin, mourning at its grave. That would just be sad. Hey. There we go. And this Shinx will be named Glaze in honor of the Glaze before us today. Man, X and Y. Weren't those games crazy? Like, is anything even noteworthy about X and Y? Other than Megas, I guess, and like roller skating. The one thing I didn't really like about Megas was um, they always talked in the game about how like Mega evolving your Pokemon was the sign of the ultimate bond between you as their trainer and them. Pokemon procreation and death. But anyways, they said it was like this ultimate bond between you and your Pokemon. So when I first saw it, I assumed you had to like raise up your friendship level with it. But you didn't. You could just Pokemon. You could just do it straight from the start, which was always weird to me. It would be cool if you at least had to grind up a little bit of friendship or go into Pokemon Ami and like give it some Pokepuffs and pet it a little bit and then it would work. But instead, they just made it so that raising your friendship level just like saves it and gives it like free focus sash and just lets it dodge things for free. Pokemon teaches us jewelry fastest way into someone's heart. Pretty much. Yep. Society, am I right, guys? 
X and Y at Pancham. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. Pancham is a pretty good Pokemon. I can't fault you there. It also had Klefki. Everybody was clowning on Klefki, but I feel like common opinion now is like Klefki was pretty all right. People like object mods now. Yeah, pretty much. I never actually had that much of a problem. Like I thought Trubbish was fine. I thought Garbodor was fine. Vanillite was always good. Vanillux, still good. Klefki better than most of Gen 1 and Gen 2 combined. Yeah. Yeah, Gen 1 and Gen 2, they just kind of like made animals or pretty basic stuff. I mean, they made a seal and named it Seal. They made a dugong and named it Dugong. Like, come on, fellas. That's somewhat unoriginal. You got to admit, that's like objectively unoriginal. All right, let's see if I can catch this Geodude and see if they treat it as something from a different route. Because I'm pretty sure this will be like a unique encounter, right? How am I missing twice in a row? It's Tackle. It doesn't miss. G. Maybe I'll just name it G, like from Street Fighter. That would be pretty cool. I'm not naming it Mr. Hands Politics. I'm not naming it that. There's a Herbie Hancock album called Mr. Hands, and I like it a lot. And the album came like 20 years before the Mr. Hands incident. So it's not even a reference or anything. But now it feels really awkward to say that I like that album on the internet. I'm gonna name it Ronk. Like from the legendary Starfy, if you've ever played that. G Obama. Oh man, that would have been good. You're right. I actually have like one of the printed out strategy guys for Pokemon Platinum that I got like from one of my friends just because like he had no use for it. So if things get dicey and I need strategic solutions, I'll just consult the printed out strategy guide. I think I saw like in a video that some of those guides are like really inaccurate. Maybe it was like for a different game, but I'm pretty sure they're inaccurate in some parts. A lot of them are wrong. Yeah, I'd assume. The HGSS one said Wurmple was a held item for Cascoon. Oh man. Awesome Pokemon guide. Name all your Pokemon Swag Ball to instantly win. That sounds like one of those like 2008 MS Paint like meme comics they'd make. Like, son, I'd be so upon you. This great gift, the swag ball. It catches anything without fail and uses it on like a Weedle or something. You know, funny meme. All right, Orberg City. He's in the coal mine, working for two cents an hour. What can I get up here in 207? A Metatite up here, maybe? Oh, it's Ponyta. Hey, a fire type. One of the two fire types. There we go, second try. All right, what do we name the Ponyta though? Enum Claw? What is Enum Claw? Is that something backwards? What is an Enum Claw? Is this like a D's Nuts joke incoming? Let me just look this up. You're speaking esoteric. You're like speaking in tongues. What is this? It's a city. It was formed by a volcanic mud flow from Mount Rainier approximately 5,700 years ago. That's what Wikipedia says. Is it like known for having horses or something? Man! I live. Why do you have to send this man? On my birthday? I don't need to see this. Great. Another word I cannot use. Well, I'm glad you sent the link before I gave it that name. I thought I was naming it after like a relative of George Washington for a second. But now I know I'm not. So I'm going to give it a good wholesome name. I'm going to name it Horsey. There. You can't do anything about this. I'm going to give it my nice friendly name. And it's going to be a good time. Anybody in the chat read Arnie the Donut as a kid? That was a good uh, storybook. Geo dude, chillin dude. I should have named it chillin dude instead of wrong. That would have been so funny. I should have named it chillin dude. It would have been funny, man. It would have been so good. We just have to go to the name raider and hopefully we can name it chillin dude. Or we'll catch an ice type and we'll name it chillin dude. That would also work. What do you think the fatality rate is at Orberg Mine? It's at least got to be 30%, right? Oh, all right, there we go. Onyx. Onyx is not very good, but we'll take it. It's a new encounter. Any names for Onyx? I'm thinking Fractale, like from Super Paper Mario, but suggestions are open. Oh, Solid Snake. Oh, okay. All right, that works. That works. Well, we've gotten up to the first gym. We haven't uh, gotten the badge yet, but this is where I'm going to cut the stream off for today because it's been two hours. Uh, it's been a good time. Very nice on my birthday. So cool to see everybody come through, but we're going to leave it off here. Uh, I definitely do want to keep trying and playing this game because, you know, you can't just quit before the first gym, at least. Let me just save a state on my legal 3DS. That's a thing you can do on the legal 3DS. Thank you for all the kind birthday messages, everyone. It's been a treat. Yeah, well, I will see everybody later. But yeah, thank you for coming along. That was a nice time.